today. I'm recording for you guys at my mom's house today. I'm working from here while I take care of my mom. Um, today we're going to have Professor Berger help us out with finding an unknown side when we are asked about the perimeter. If we know the perimeter, how can we find out the measurement of an unknown side? And it's a little bit like a two-step problem. So Professor Berger's gonna walk us through it and then we're gonna practice. You guys ready? Hey, I missed you guys. I hope everything's okay. Uh, have somebody text me so I can make sure I know you're okay, okay? Sorry guys, internet's not great here. I have got a geometry riddle for you that is so hot, you're gonna love it. It's all about perimeter. What's the most awesome thing in the world? Let's check it out together and see if we can figure out the answer to this awesome riddle. Check it out. So we're given a rectangle and we're told that it has a perimeter of 32 inches. Mm -hmm. Now, the left side is seven inches long. The question for us is, what is the length of the top side? Now, when you first hear this, you say to yourself, this is a riddle that I don't think I can answer because there's not enough information. Well, let's just draw a picture of it and see for ourselves. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle. So here's my version of a rectangle. And what do I know? Well, I'm told that the left side is seven inches long. So that's the left side that's way over here. That's seven inches long. Period. Now, since it's a rectangle, we now know what the length of the right side is. So actually, I'm going to write in just in red because that's not officially given, but it's kind of secretly given. All right, friends, um, your turn now. Uh, like me, you should have three things, maybe four. You should have something to write with. Uh oh. Huh? Got it. Something to write with. You should have something to write on. You should have the computer or phone that you're watching me on. And you should have your very good brain working. All right, make your uh, rectangle like Professor Berger and I did. Whoops, that's not the right one. Okay, so I made my rectangle. You can see I labeled my short side the same as he did, seven inches. Okay, so we know it's a rectangle. We know that the short side, the left side is seven inches. Are you guys with me? Okay, what do we know about the entire perimeter? What did Professor Berger, tell us about the whole perimeter. Can you find it in the words? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Got it? Ah, I think I heard somebody say the whole perimeter is 32. So for perimeter man to run around the whole outside, he would have to run 32 inches. Got that. Check. All right. You guys ready to learn more? Because we're told it's a rectangle, if I know this is seven inches long, that's got to be seven inches long. So I got that seven inches long. Write that down. And what do I want to find out? I want to find out the length of the top side. So question mark. And it seems like I don't have enough information. So. What do I do? Well, I know what the perimeter is. And the perimeter is going to be the sum of this length plus that length plus that length plus that length. 
Now we know that this mystery length is actually the same length as this other mystery length because these are actually the same length as well. So if the perimeter is 32, I already know part of the perimeter. I know that the left side is seven and therefore I know that the right side is seven. And so this actually tells me that I can figure out uh, what these lengths are together. That's gonna... Okay, friends, now it's your turn, give it a try. All right, we know this side is seven. We know this side is seven. So if we put those two sevens together, what would we have? Please don't let me know that you've forgotten seven plus seven. Okay, seven plus seven. Hmm, I'm gonna wait just a second. I'm gonna wait, I think I almost hear it. Jason was here, I know he would be telling me it by now. You got it, seven plus seven, 14. So we know, we know the total of the short sides is 14, seven plus seven. All right, let's go a little further. It'd be seven plus seven, and seven plus seven is 14. So uh, the perimeter, which is 32, is gonna be made up of this plus this, plus these guys, which we see is 14. So what if we just remove those guys? Then I just see that plus that. So if I take the total perimeter, 32, and subtract off the 14 part of the perimeter that's made up of, of these two sides. Okay, friends, do what he's doing. We know the whole perimeter is 32, all the way around if perimeter guy runs around. We know these two sides together are 14. So let's take those two sides out and see what we have left. All right, third graders, I know you can do this. 32 minus 14, I'm gonna give you a few minutes because I know that you're gonna have to regroup on it. Got it? All right, here we go. Then the length that remains will give me these two sides. Well, 32 minus 14 is 18. Is that what you got? By the way, these are all inches, technically. I'll write them in. And so what does that mean? It means that this length plus this length, in fact, is going to be 18 inches. Well, I know that this length is equal to that length. So what is each length individual? Well, all I have to do now is to break the 18 into two equal groups, which means I want to take 18 and divide it into two equal groups, and that tells me division. So look at that, there's gonna be another operation. Isn't this fun? First we added, now we subtracted, and now live we're gonna take 18 and divide it by two, because we know that the sum of these things is in fact 18, and these are the exact same length of each other. So divide by two, and 18 divided by- Oh, I'll give you a minute. We don't want Professor Berger to do all your work for you. All right, I wrote it inside my rectangle, 18 divided by two, Okay, if you don't know it off the top of your head, use a strategy, count by twos till you get to 18. Or think of your doubles, or think of your multiplication facts. All right, here we go. By two, same thing as half of 18, and that is nine inches. So what does that mean? It means that this side must be nine inches. And who cares about that? What we care about is the question mark side, which is now no longer a question mark. Because <laughs> we now see it's nine inches. And we could actually check our answer by adding nine plus seven plus nine plus seven. And if we add all those up carefully, we're gonna see 32. And so just knowing the total perimeter and knowing the just the left side, the left side gave us the right side, when we combined those, we had both sides. When I took the total perimeter and subtracted off those two uh, right and left sides, that left me with the length of the top and the bottom. And if I took half of that, I actually got the answer. And so the length of the top side, which is what the question really asked, is in fact nine inches long. Absolutely amazing that just using perimeter and one little fact, 
about a rectangle, we were able to find out everything about the rectangle. Perimeter is a powerful tool, and rectangles are so beautiful in that once you know one piece of something, it actually gives you maybe another piece of something, and you put all the pieces together, you stir, you bake for 20 minutes, you pull it out, you let it cool, and all of a sudden, you have the answer. Have fun actually cooking up your own math answers, and I'll see you soon. Okay, friends, now you're going to try it. Um, I created another rectangle, and this rectangle has a perimeter of 24. So take your writing utensil, make a rectangle. This one has a perimeter of 24. I know this short side, this one right here, is four inches. I'm gonna make myself bigger here. All right, so I know this short side right here has a perimeter, or it has a measurement of four inches. So if this one is four inches, What's this guy on the other side going to be? I heard somebody say it's got to be four inches too. It's a rectangle. The opposite sides are the same length. Let's write that down. So now we know this. So now what we can do is we can put those two sides together Please don't let me know that you've forgotten four plus four. Here we go. Four plus four. Everybody say it right now. One, two, three. You're right. It's eight. Okay, there's your eight. Now we have to take that eight out of the 24 that we know. Because we know perimeter man would have to go 24 inches to walk all the way around. So now you've got 24 minus that eight that we know about, the two sides we know. I'm trying to put this in a way you can see it and see me too. All right, I'll give you a minute because you have to regroup. Count back however your subtraction works for you. Got it, got it, got it. You're right, it's 16. Then we know that our two mystery sides are going to be the same length, right? Mystery side on the top, mystery side on the bottom, got to be the same length. So we're going to take that 16 and break it into two pieces. We call that divided by. I certainly hope you guys remember divided by. I'll give you a minute again. 16 broken into two pieces half of 16 count by twos until you get to 16 whatever your strategy is make two circles and go put marks in it till you get to 16. ready i'm ready you guys ready i'm gonna wait just a second three two one say it it's eight okay so now you guys should know to find the missing measurement on a perimeter, if you know one side on a rectangle, you can figure out the rest. So don't let those tricky questions make you frustrated. You can do this. Add together what you know, take it away from the perimeter, and divide your answer by two. All right, practice, practice. Rewatch this if you don't remember. Go back to your math book. Um, I think it's lesson three, chapter eight. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.